Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge and today in this video we will learn what is MongoDB and how we can use MongoDB inside our Spring Boot application. So first we will discuss about what is MongoDB. As we know MongoDB is a document database and document database is different from traditional relational databases. In our traditional relational databases you need to create table in database before inserting any record but if we are using mongodb it is different from that it is document database and you can insert data in different structures so basically we are going to persist documents and document is nothing but like json is a document and mongodb supports json to insert documents it means we can directly persist json into mongo database and mongodb directly store document in the json format so we can view the record in database like in this format and it is free and open source and it is also distributed and you can deploy mongodb on any cluster and you can scale them across but in our traditional databases it was not possible to scale across so here we can read mongodb stores data in flexible json like documents meaning fields can vary from document to document and the data structure can be changed over time and the document model maps to the objects in your application code making data easy to work with and mongodb is a distributed database and mongodb is free to use so from this link we can download the mongodb and i will provide this link in description also so you can also download from this link and after downloading you need to install this mongodb and it will be shown in your c folder inside c go to program files and here you can see mongodb folder will be create after installation and i have already downloaded one more tool that is robo 3t that is useful to see the views of tables so you can also download it from here and here you just need to download download robo 3t only so click on this link it will download automatically now first i need to start my database so i will go to c folder and inside program files here i will go and search for mongodb and open to this folder and go to server folder click on 4.4 and go to bin and here you just need to click on mongodb so here we can see our mongodb is starting and here we can see it has started on port number 27017 now what i need to do first i need to create one spring boot application then we will integrate mongodb in our application so here i will click start.spring.io and here i just need to define group id and artifact id spring boot with mongo correct example in this video we will see and here what i need to do select java version and next we need to add dependencies so here i will go to web dependency and next we need to add mongo so here it will show three dependency here we just need to add spring data mongodb and another dependency that we can also add like lombok dependency and other dependency like dev tools we can use for our own purpose and click on generate so extract it here now go to eclipse 
and click on file import existing maven project paste the so here our project has imported successfully now here i will open my main class that is our spring boot application and now what i need to do we need to create here crud api so first here i will create one controller for controller i will create one package that is controller package and here i will create one service package so i will just create user controller so here i am creating user service interface and in controller class controller package i will create class that is user controller and i will create one more package for service implementation and inside this package i will create one class that is user service implementation and here i also need to create one repository class so here i will create one more package that is repository and inside this repository package i will create one class that is user repository so this will be the interface interface user repository that will extend the class mongo repository So here we just need to pass our entity class and here I will pass the data type of our primary key. So here I will create one more package that is entity package and this entity package will contain one class that is user class and inside user class what we need to do here we need to define annotation that is at the documents because in our mongodb we can insert documents so here i will add private long id private string username private integer age and here we can define annotation that is at the rate id and here at class level we can define at the rate data annotation of lombok so no need to write setter getter methods and we can also use at the rate org constructor at the rate no org constructor and that is our entity class so now i will go to my user repository and here i will just import this class that is user and this is our mongo repository now i will go to my controller class and here i will just define one annotation that is at the rate rest controller and we'll also define at the rate request mapping and here i will define the url path for api that is a root path user and here i will create rest endpoint to save the user public user save user and here request body that will be user 
and here I will auto white user service so here I will just save it and here we need to create one user service class I have already created so I just need to import it and user service and inside user service interface I will create methods public user save user and here I will pass user as a parameter now the next function is public get list of user from db get users so here no need to pass any parameter public update user and here I will pass long id and model class user and the next one need to create one more rest endpoint that will be used to delete the user so we can make it as void void delete user so here I will just pass user id and we will delete the record or document based on user id so here i have declared all four methods now i will go to my user service implementation and here i will implement user service interface and here we need to provide the implementation for unimplement add unimplemented methods now here I will define a notation that is at the rate service and here I will define at the rate auto wide private user repository that is provided by mango repository user repository so here I will use user repository to save the user so here I will use user repository dot save and pass the entity so it will save the user and return the user and if I want to get all the user list then I will call user repository dot find all so this will return the list of users and the next one is if I want to update the user then first I will get the user based on its ID so here I will just pass the user ID and it will return user object and if find by id is present then only we can update the record so here i will call find by id dot get user2 or we can say user entity now here i will check if user dot get name is not equal to null and user dot get name dot is empty not empty then only we will update the field user entity dot set name and we will get the name from request and next we need to check if user dot get age 
is not equal to null then only we will set the age into our entity so this is done mm, now i will just call user repository dot say function user repository dot save here is no update function so we just need to call save function so it will automatically update the object mm, now we need to delete the user so here i will just call user repository delete id delete by id function and just need to pass the id so here it will not return anything and now i will go to my controller class so here i will define at the rate post mapping and it will save the user user service dot save user and it will return user now we will create one more nest endpoint to fetch the list of users so here we will use get mapping and here i will use list and here it will return list of user and here i will call the function get users and now i will create one more rest endpoint to update the user so here i will just use post mapping put mapping if i want to update date user and here i will get the id from my request need to create one more rest endpoint to delete the user that will be based on its id so here no need to pass request body just remove from here from here and here we need to call delete user and its return type is void so here we will return null or we can pass deleted successfully and now i will go to my application dot properties file and here i will configure the credentials of my mongodb so this is my authentication database that is admin and username i am using root and password is admin and database name is db and port number is 27017 that we can check it from here that we have already started 
so here we can see port number is 27017 and now I will go to my C drive here is my MongoDB and here I will check click on Mongo and from here I will check my active DB and just type DB it will show me active DB is test and if I want to activate my this DB that is DB so I will go here and click use DB so our DB switch to DB and if we want to see all DBs then we can click shows show DBs it will show me all DBs that I have created so these are the commands that we can use for MongoDBs show all DBs and if you want to see active DBs and if you want to switch from one DB to another DB and if you want to create users with its credential then we can use this command copy this and go here paste it here so it's throwing uncaught exception error could not add user because this user is already exist with name user and password admin so here i am using same db in my mongo application in spring boot application here i am using the username as root and password is admin now i will just run this application then we will check our database in roboty so this is a tool that i am using robot 3d so here we can see all database if you want to create one more database then just click here create database then we can create one more database so here i have created db so i will use this db and inside collections our table will be create so here is just one table created and this table contain four records and if i will click on this and in view document then we can see this object in the json format so mongodb insert document in the format of json object so here we can see no user table is created but when i will insert the record here one new collection will be create that is user so here i will go and run as a java application here you can see our application has started at port number 8080 now i will go to my postman and here i have created one use save user and here this is the url path of my controller and here this is the payload that i will send as a request so i will click on send so here you can see the output that is a response now i will go to robo 3d and here i will just refresh it so here you can see one more table is created so i will click on it and here i will click on right click and view document so here we can see the details this is the id name age there's three attribute we have passed as a request so it was saved in this tv if you want to see data in the table format we can click on it here here we can see id name age now i will go to postman and here i will click on get users and it will get the list of users so here it's throwing bad request uh, i will go here and check required request body is missing go to user controller and in get api no need to pass this just remove it and go to postman and hit it again so here we can see the list of users because we have inserted only single record so it's showing only single object if i will go to update user here i will just update update it and it is 35 click on send here it's not returning any response new user so here i will go to my controller 
and click on update user point by id if user is present then it will get entity and set the name and age and now here it will return user now i will go to postman again and hit this now here we can see the response is returned age 35 and user is new user go to db and run this query and here we can see id1 name new user 835 so now i will delete this user go to delete user click on send <coughs> so here it's showing method not allowed delete is not allowed oh sorry here we need to change at the rate delete mapping now i will hit it again so here we can see deleted successfully now go to database refresh it so here we can see no record zero records in zero millisecond fetched from db so this is all about how we can integrate mongodb in our spring boot application thanks for watching this video